welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimmy Johnson and this is Let's Talk About It. Today I am here with my first Sunshine subscriber collab. I am so excited about this. As you can tell by the title today, the topic of our collab is get to know me's and giveaways. Each one of us has come up with five questions for each girl and sent it to them. So we each have to answer 20 questions about ourselves that the girls have sent us. Also, we are having a giveaway. Each one of us are putting something into the giveaway and one person will win five different prizes. Rules to the giveaway is you have to be subscribed to every single one of the Sunshine subscribers. Like the video and make a comment down below on each one of the videos so we can know that you are watching all of the videos. And at the end of the month, you will be put into a drawing to win all five of the prizes, which is really awesome because you get five different prizes coming from five different girls, which is really, 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 really cool. Can we talk about the Sunshine subscriber shirts? Um, my girl Crystal Marks made them. She has her own business called Crystal's Things. And I'm gonna leave her link down below. You can also find her on Facebook and Instagram. So another thing I'm excited to announce is we have a new member. Her name is Candace, and she is a really, really, really cool. She fits right in with our crew, and she's just in time for our first collab. I'm really, really excited about um, our first video and these 20 questions that each of us have to answer. They're supposed to be fun and uplifting. There were rules to it. We like to keep things happy and fun. So the first person I'm gonna read from is Candace. Okay, so Candace asked me, what was the best present you have ever received? Okay, so in 2016, my birthday, I was going through chemo and it was actually like my second chemo and radiation treatment and my husband came home with my baby. Um, let me go get her. She was so little, you couldn't even like um, hear her little cry. She was like, meow, meow. She kept me company when I was sick, but she, I got her on my birthday for my birthday present for my husband. So I think alive presents are the best presents ever. Question number two, if you could pick any other name for yourself, what would it be? That was easy. Stevie, I wish my name was Stevie. I look like a Stevie. I don't look like a Jamie. I think, um, don't I look like a Stevie? What is your earliest memory from childhood? Pooping my pants in church. Question number four, do you have any hidden talents? I can sing Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit a cappella with no music. Start to finish. Every word, I do not mess up. If you could leave the world being known for one thing, what would it be? That I love homeless people. Okay, so next is Miss Kelly. How many tattoos do you have? And is there a specific one that has a deep meaning? I have no idea how many I have. I would be here all day. Um, I have a bunch on my back. I would have to say, I would have to say somewhere in the 50s, maybe 60s. The one that has the deepest meaning is the tattoo of my son's name. It says Taylor. Um, he wrote that. That's his handwriting. It was the first time he's ever wrote his name. Um, I took it on the paper that he wrote it on and I went and got it tattooed so I'd always have that piece of paper because that's the piece of paper that no mother ever 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 has they have a million of your names but it's never the first one so um, I have it here and then I had him design it he picked out the two um, spiders because at that time he liked spiders he was just a little guy then so um, yeah that's that's pretty cool I recommend that uh, for any mother um, for their kid if you like tattoos to get um, a signature tattoo because they really do mean something it's somebody's signature you know that was a good question where is your favorite place to go unwind Ooh, my favorite place to go unwind well I love to sit in my bed with my husband um, and we like to watch TV together and that's kind of our unwinding because I'm like, you know, start to finish, I, I, um, I'm going all day. Um, if you're talking about leaving the house somewhere to go and unwind, um, I, 
Me and my husband, we like to go try out barbecue joints um, when he has free time because that's our favorite food that we like together. So that would be like our unwinding um, together. But as of a daily unwind, it would be at the end of the night when me and my hubby are watching our shows. We love our shows, me and him. Number three, what is something you do when life gets rough? I pray. Um, I pray, I pray, I pray. Sometimes I pray all day. Sometimes I forget to pray because I'm worrying, which is bad. But that's okay because I pray about it the next day. Um, I would be nowhere without a belief system. Um, that's just it. I'm not a religious person, but I do, um, have a relationship with Jesus. So, yeah, I pray. I love it. Question number four. What is your favorite thrift store find? Is there something you are desperate to find? Oh man, that's a fully loaded question, Cal. This is Kenny Lee, and I just love him. I've never had a real Cabbage Patch Kid growing up. I don't know if my parents just didn't want to fork out the money or they didn't get one. Either way, I didn't have one. I found this guy, and I was super happy to get him. Um, it's not one of my biggest antique finds, but this is a guy that I that makes me happy every time I come in my room. So I love Cabbage Patch Kids. Is there something I am desperate to find? Yes, there is something I am desperate to find. As soon as I go into thrift stores, I go through the toys and I look for a Teddy Rupskin. If you don't know what Teddy Rupskin is, it's that 80s bear that you would put a tape in and it would tell you stories. Well, they go really high today. You can make a lot of money off of them. So I would really like that for my collection in my house because I do hang um, things that are from your childhood or a blast from the past in my house I do keep um like my cabbage patch kid hanging out so you can see like cool stuff uh, that they made over the years and Teddy Rupskin is one of those high in demand things so I'm always trying to find one of those and if you guys ever find one of those um, let me know or don't let me know because I want it if you could talk to your 16 year old self what advice would you give to yourself I would tell myself to go, to get into this um, creating stuff um, not exactly school but I would tell myself to do something with my creative side um, I always thought that my creative side was a uh, daydreaming type thing and it wasn't I could have done something really good with creating because I do like editing my videos and I wish I knew more um, sometimes I'm like mad at myself that I that I didn't try a little harder in school yeah so that's probably what I would have told myself um, then uh, and uh, I think that's about it with telling myself 16 year old self because every single thing I did you know got me here and I, I don't mind here so those were Kelly's questions Kelly you're killing it Mia these are Mia's questions if you could only have one dream come true what would it be oh my god change the national anthem to the Bohemian Rhapsody what was your first tattoo and what does it mean to you Ooh, my first tattoo was a butterfly and um, I picked it because we had been begging my friend we were young we were like in our early teens um, we were begging my friend's mom to bring us and she was saying no because we were young she kind of like surprised us with a tattoo so we didn't have anything picked out so I seen a butterfly and I liked the whole butterfly um, concept of um, you know turning into something beautiful and I do like butterflies so that was you know it seemed fitting and I was young I was really young at the time what type of teenager were you were you always this badass oh my god I'm I'm not badass I wish I was badass um the type of teenager I was just like this bitchy I was bitchy a lot um yeah, I kind of, I don't know, um, got a tattoo young, got piercings young, um, you know, fought, you know, did the whole typical give my parents crap, but not too much crap. I just did the whole um, tattoo thing, piercings. Um, I kind of just, I, I've always been kind of like this. I've been, I've tip, sip a little bit more bitchier if you can um, imagine that. You're so free-spirited. Could you picture yourself leaving home and traveling the world? Yes, I could. I want to see so much because I never did before. And my husband's been showing me places. And when I, like, go to them, I'm like, this is, like, 
only things I've seen on TV. So, yeah, I can see myself going to places. I want to go to Italy so bad. I want to go to Amsterdam so bad. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to all of those obvious places really, really bad. And I want to do a lot of, like, food places with my husband because he loves food. He's a chef. So, yeah, we want to travel a lot and see the world. We got married late. Um, our kids are, you know, they're getting bigger, so they're not young anymore. So, yeah, definitely. Which I, I'm definitely traveling the world. And you're coming with me, Mia. What is the hobby or activity you always wanted to do but never got a chance to do? I always wanted to write, like, a book when I was younger. I used to go to a lot of concerts, and I had just this fast-paced life um, in my 20s and 30s of concerts. I've been to almost 200 concerts and that was my life so I always said I was gonna write about it and I wrote in notebooks and wrote and wrote and wrote but I never I never ended up making anything out of it but I find that outlet in YouTube now the same fire that burns inside me when I used to write which is why I got this tattoo right here it's fire and that represents the fire that I feel when I'm creating something. So the same fire that I got in here from writing back in the day, I get it when I'm creating my vlogs or my videos on YouTube when I'm editing. So I'm thinking my hobby that I never got to do, I can like do it now because it's it's shifted and became more modern. So yeah i'm thinking i'm going to fulfill that through youtube so that's a really good question and thank you for asking it okay so next is my girl trish and i am like pretty pumped to hear these questions okay what is your favorite song ever another fully loaded question but i'm going to have to go with bohemian rhapsody i know you love kate middleton and Perez hilton but if you could spend one day with anyone living or dead who would it be Mama June, if you had unlimited money for one day, what would you do? I would spend the entire day paying off everybody's bills. Things that would last a long time after a day, definitely. Doing something for the homeless, like getting everybody food. It, this reminds me of that movie, Brewster's Millions. Did anybody see that with Richard Pryor and John Candy? Excellent movie, and it's almost just like this question. So yeah, that's that's the most realistic way I could actually answer that. What was the very first subscription box you bought and why? Um, the very first subscription box I ever bought was Fat for Fun. Didn't have a lot of money at Christmas time, so after the children were done, so we had a couple hundred dollars each to spend on each other, so we decided to just take it and spend it on what we wanted. So I wanted to get the most bang for my buck. So I ended up going on Instagram and seeing somebody talk about FabFitFun. And I liked a couple of things that were in the box that they were opening. So I just went ahead and ordered it for the year. Just right up front for the year. I became a, uh, an annual member. I didn't realize the subscription box was going to get me out of my cancer funk. So I'm so happy that I got into subscription boxes. And FabFitFun will always be in my life because of that. Question number five. What is your fantasy dream job? Oh, easy, Oprah. I wanted to be Oprah so bad. I was so mad when she, I heard that she was like canceling her show. I was like, I was supposed to be on that show. Every time she would say a question, um, I would like say the question in my head too. Like at the same time. I was like, we are so like on the same page like she's always giving away cars to people and you know she can just do whatever she wants yeah that's that's the coolest job and i love oprah so you know i'm addicted to oprah okay so those were my sunshine subscriber get to know me's 20 questions okay so my giveaway i had such a big response from that last sweatshirt that i had a giveaway on i went and got another for it and this one's an extra large, a little bit bigger, just a wee, not much. But it's a good sweatshirt, new with tags. This is what I'm putting into this month's giveaway, another one, just because it's cold still and I want to get this out before the spring. So if you liked this video, please press like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.